So our, to begin with, we're going to go 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, two times through. We're going to start with Around the World, our Animal Flow side kick through. If you've had a semi, you know what that is. If you don't, watch right quick. You don't need to do this right now. You will come down to like a monkey, similar to a monkey crawl position. Knees come more instead of being underneath the hips. They're going to be more underneath the belly button. And you're going to bring one leg through and the other elbow goes back. So you've got a nice long line here. And then we come back. Let me show you from this view. Our animal flow side kick through. And then we come back to like a monkey crawl position. So there's a lot of shoulder stabilization here. Let's take your time. Uh, glute walk out. You're going to be on your back. You're going to be in a bridge. And then we're just going to slowly, small little steps, walk your heels out till legs are almost completely extended. And then small little tiny steps back up. All right, runner's cone reach. You're going to pretend like you have a cone in front of you. Or something. Maybe it's a beer. I don't know. Maybe some of most of this are flooding here. And then you're going to reach down and touch it. Take a sip. Reach down. Touch it. Uh, plank to push up. I think we all know those. They're going from a high plank position down to a low plank. Back up to a high plank. Sidewinders, I think everyone knows these. Feet about a leg length apart. Oh, walking over from side to side. So six exercises, two times through. Here we go, folks. Thanks for being here this morning. Starting with, oh, actually, missed one. Around the world. We all know those. So reaching your arms, you're going to make the biggest Fear you can. Reaching behind you, I do want you squatting down. <sighs> Switch directions. Reaching behind you when you reach behind you. Don't just arch the back. I do want abdominals starting to be engaged a bit. And your side kick through. Animal flow. Come down to us. Four point stance, two hands, two feet, monkey crawl position. Left heel or left foot is going to reach out, right elbow will pull back. Reset. Reach through an extended right leg, left elbow pulls back. Reset. And you will continue to alternate. I like to think of it as the break dance uh, portion when we do our break dance 360s. Good walk out on your back. Hips are up and small, little, tiny steps with the heels walking out. Hips stay off the ground and slow coming back up. Say good morning, hamstrings. And our runners come reach. Let's go left leg down, right hand will reach. So imagine a cone or a glass of orange juice in front of that left foot, touch, come back up. Try not to let the right foot touch down if you can. Extend out the right heel when the leg goes behind you. Last five. Now, plank to push up. This time I want you to have a left lead the whole time. So you're starting at a high plank, shoulders away from the ears, glutes are on, abdominals are lifted. 
Left elbow lowers down, right elbow, left hand, right hand. Left leg the entire time. When body shifts, we shift as a unit if needed, that you don't let the hips go first, then the shoulders. We move together as a board. Sidewinder. So with the extended leg, play with this, having the toes come up towards the ceiling, shift over to the other side. Maybe you have the toes going forward. Do what feels good to you. Right now, I do not care if the bent knee side foot is flat or lifted. Five seconds, and then we'll start back over. With around the world. <laughs> so we're gonna go about two, three circles each direction, squatting low, reaching the hands out in front of you, and then reach behind you. <sighs> you should feel lovely. I do want you getting low in that squat, not by rounding the back, but by dropping the hips. Switch directions. And our animal flow side kick through. If you don't get it, you can always just hold in a monkey crawl position. So in that monkey crawl position, knees coming underneath the belly button, and extend one leg long, where the opposite elbow pulls back. Reset, and switch sides. Down yeah, eight. So again, I don't want you sagging through the shoulder here. Lift body away from the floor. Flip walk out on your back. Hips up, shoulders pushing into the ground. And little steps, legs walking out to extension. Hips stay off the ground. Try not to have your ribs flaring out, but you still have those abdominals staying glued together. Could reach on the right side. So right leg will be down. Left hand is gonna reach out in front of right foot. It is helpful to use the swing leg and arm. So left foot, right hand lift. Left foot goes back, left hand reaches in front of you. Extend out that swing leg and it goes behind you. And, oh, like to push up. This time a right hand lead. So high plank, right elbow replaces right hand, left elbow replaces left hand. Right hand replaces right elbow, left hand replaces left elbow. And think of that lovely trifecta, folks. Abdominals, glutes, quads. The legs are strong. Lift the kneecaps. Squeeze those glutes. Side riders. Now, this time, try and leave the bent knee side foot. Try and leave that heel down. So, for me, I have to actually put my hands a little bit more behind me for some support to go as low as I was before. If you don't want to use any hands, great, make it a fun little challenge. 
Move across the horizon. Ooh. And stand up, squeeze my cheeks and smile. Because you woke up and got out of bed this morning. It's a good day, folks. All right, lovely little 15 minutes of work here. We have our speed skater bounding. If you can't, don't. You just do a foot to foot glide. Otherwise, we're going to start on one foot. Other leg behind you is lifted. Push and stick for just a moment. Push and stick. Push and stick. Like I said, if you don't want to do that or knees are bothering you, you can just stay here and go foot to foot glide. Uh, lunge thrust. One leg is going to be forward. We're going to try to stay on one side the whole time, except for round three. We'll switch, if I remember. Opposite hand will come to the ground, and you can come up to standing. Small little push off the back leg. Opposite hand comes with you. These are our lunge thrusts. If you don't want to go back so far, don't. Maybe you go here. Maybe you don't even touch the ground. And we come up. This is a nice little modification. You want to add a little more, you give me a little jump. Uh, monkey crawls. We all know those. Take your time. This is going to be a place where you can slow your heart rate down a little bit. Coming into that six point stance, two knees, two knees, two feet. Lift your knees up off the ground and small little steps. Keeping that picture of mimosas on your back from spilling. And ribbon shuffles. If you don't have a lot of space, you won't really go into a side lunge here, okay? But this is our ribbon shuffle where we're reaching down in front of the outside leg. You'll come up over like a little side lunge or side squat. If you don't have a lot of space, maybe this is where you are. And you just do it smaller instead of going bigger and lower. Cross rotation. All right. You don't have to have these. I'm just trying to show you. I would make a big T with two pieces of rope or two pieces of tape. And I'm going to make a U. Okay. So here, shoulders are square. Here, my shoulders are trying to stay square. Square, square. Why well, I'm having my base. That is rotating. So I'm straddling the line, straddling the line, and so forth. I'm making like eight U. I know you can't really see those purple straps. And that's it. Now we repeat that two more times. So three times total. So we're gonna start with our speed skate. Bounding. Everybody good? Rock stars. Deb, I hope you're staying warm out there. Let me check in. There you go. Morning, Ruth. That's exactly what I was thinking for you, sir. All right, here we go, 45 seconds. Begin, little speed skaters. So if you want to stay upright, I'm great with that. I want you to try and leave that back leg lifted though. If you do need to touch down for a little bit of stability, do so. You can also reach opposite hand to the foot, so that you're staying a little lower. I don't care which version you do, as long as you're moving, and you're breathing, and you're smiling. There we have, 10 seconds remaining. Push, push, going at your own pace, folks. Lunge thrust, I do want you to go right leg down first. So right leg is gonna come down. Like I said, if you don't want the opposite hand to touch, don't. But if you can, left foot or left hand comes to the ground, left knee, right hand comes up. Lunge back, come up. You want a little more fun? Go a little faster. So most of this is done through that right leg. Feel that right hamstring load when you hinge forward, lunge back. Like I said, if you want more fun, go ahead and add a jump. Lunge back, come up, jump. Sitting up nice and tall. 
no idea how much time we have, but we got to get close. There we go. Yeah, monkey crawl! You know, everyone's second most favorite exercise. And drop the shoulders away from the ears, lift the knees, lift the abdominals, and monkey crawl forward and back. You may only have enough room for two steps forward and two steps back, that's fine. Try not to let those knees get too high off the ground. And like I said, this may be a chance for you to try to check in with the breath. Every once in a while, breathing in through the nose. Unless you're just <gasps> gasping for air like it might be around two. With shocking and moving. And ribbon shuffles. So, utilizing your space safely. Hands will reach down in front of the outside leg. And you're going to push. Arms go up and over. I think about hands going in the direction that I want to go. So going across the body, up and over. And again, hands are reaching because I'm slightly hinging. My hips are going back. Not because my back is rounded. No way not. Down to 12. Thanks for being here, folks. And cross rotation. This is the one where you imagine a T on the ground. And you're going to make a U with your feet. Shoulders stay square to the wall in front of you. Base is doing a lovely rotation. Now when you get the hang of it, you will try and go a little quicker. So it's hard for me to talk because my feet will get all funky. Are <laughs> down to tech? Hello, toes. Yeah, speed skate. Round two already started. Okay, closer and closer to stretching, folks. Hang in there. So, opposite hand. We're reaching to the opposite foot. Push and stick, just for a moment. Push and stick. Trying not to let that back foot touch the ground. Woo. As I do so myself. Like I said, I don't care how low you go. Do what's appropriate for your body this morning. If it hurts to swing the shoulders, don't. Maybe you just keep the hands in right here at heart center. All right, one thrust. Left side down. Whew. So left foot will be in front. Right hand reverse lunge. Or right hand. Right leg reverse lunge. Right hand reach to the floor. Coming up. So remember, when right foot lifts, left hand comes with. And again, just a reminder, you don't, I don't care how far you want back. I don't care if that right hand touches the ground. Then you add a little fun, and you add a jump these last 15 seconds. Use the swing hand and the swing leg. Morning left hand strength. And monkey crawl. Whew. Bring 
those knees up off the ground. Drop those shoulders away from the ears. A tiny steps forward and tiny steps back. I don't really care how fast you go here. Make sure you're pushing your body away from the floor via the hands. So hands are literally pushing into the ground. Remember you may have a picture of, well, I don't know, maybe you already started with margaritas this morning. Margaritas on the back, don't spill them. Maybe you're just trying to pull up tea. Anyways, keep that back nice and flat. Ribbon shuffle. Thank goodness Michelle gave us a 15 second break here. Reaching hands in front of the outside leg. Arms go across the body, reaching up and over. If you wanted to make any of these more challenging, guess what you'd do? You'd maybe add a weight. If you wanted to add a five, 10 pound dumbbell, where you had a dead ball. Tell you what, I probably wouldn't do this with a kettlebell though. But it's called ribbon shuffle because if you imagine the support the troops ribbon or the breast cancer awareness ribbon, that's the ribbon you are making. Shuffle meaning side shuffle. Oh, cross rotation. Remember you get a drink after this 45 seconds. So imagine that T on the ground. You'll straddle that T. Shoulders trying to stay square. Rotate in like a U, or feet, legs, make a U. Once you get it, you'll pick up your knees. I don't know why I feel like I need to wash my feet for this. I have to concentrate too much for me to talk. You know what you're doing, I hope. 10 seconds. All right, I need a quick drink, folks. And then we have like five more minutes. I tell you what, my feet burn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, looks like all of you are, from what I can see, you're still standing. So am I, remember I'm here alone, if something happens, somebody come get me. <laughs> or send someone to. All right, five more fun exercises, one more time, speed skate, round three, here we go. Push and stick, push and stick for just a moment. Just a reminder, if this doesn't feel good on the shoulders, don't keep the hands right here in front of you. Or you can even keep them on the hips. If it bothers the knee, come upright, and you go foot to foot glide. And lunge thrust. Whew. Starting with the right leg down. Um, or if you kick a ball with your left leg, I want you to start with your left leg down. Because I might forget to switch us. Coming up to standing. Or maybe you add that little jump. Keep it up, folks. 15 seconds in. If you want to switch, go ahead and switch to the other side. Crawls. 
Last monkey crawl today. Unless you have an infant at home, you might be doing that later. Crawling around with your little one. Or dog. Or spouse. I don't know. Bring your knees up off the ground. Shoulders glued to the back. Lock them in their sockets. That's why they are short steps with the hands. Don't reach so far forward that the pushier side of the shoulder comes unglued. Remember to breathe. Red and shuffle. Last two minutes. Well, it's actually only a minute and a half of work. You got this, folks. Hands again, reaching in front of the outside foot. Get those hips back, up and over with the hands. <clears throat> so try to remember to keep a nice flat back. And smile. We're here, we're alive, folks. Just teaching my son about what, he's like, mommy. What does survive mean? I said, staying alive, brother. Staying alive. No other place I'd rather be. And spike. Three, two. Ah, last 45. Man, my feet are burning from this. Oh, we should golf ball the feet next. Part of our stretching. Oh, here we go. Cross rotation. So again, legs or feet, excuse me, making that you. And once you get comfortable with it, just speed it up. Everybody stays moving. Even if you're just doing, again, like a foot to foot line, or you're doing a knee tap because you don't want to jump. Keep moving. We have 15 seconds. You can do anything for 15 seconds, folks. Just don't hold your breath while doing it. <sighs> Timer goes off. 20 minutes of stretching. Ooh, grab some water. If you have a mat, a yoga mat, grab one. Or maybe you just lay on a rug. Something cushy. I may tilt you down a bit. Oh, my head's cut off. Okay. All right. Dad, you may not want to take your shoes off if you're still outside. Yes, I see your blue skies. And this is where if you have a foam roller for one of these, uh, you might you might uh, you might use it, so grab one. Get it close. <sighs> or if you don't have a mat, find a pillow or a blanket or a towel for uh, something to put underneath the knee. Because we're going to be half kneeling. <sighs> okay. So. Let's start with our slave of flames. Whew. So you're half kneeling. Uh, let's go right knee down to try and give you direction from right and left side. So if right knee is down, uh, your left foot can actually come in front of that left knee because we are going to shift our weight forward, okay? So here, inhaling, exhaling. 
as you shift forward. Inhale, come on back. Exhale, shift forward. And go at your own pace. You can have shoelaces down. You can put toes in the mat. I don't care. But I do want this to be something you can easily shift into. And don't just allow your upper body to come forward. Shift through the hips. So maybe you just stay here and think about left knee going forward, right knee going back, or legs going in opposite directions. Back out. Engage that right cheek, that right glute. Feel opening in that right thigh, and again, shift forward. Whew. Bring your hands down to the ground on the inside of that left foot. And you're gonna to switch directions here so you can see me. Or hopefully I will talk you through this correctly. Walk that left foot over to the left side of your mat or space and let that left knee kind of fall out to the side. So you're gonna come onto the pinky toe side of left foot. And shift your hips gently, easily. Maybe forward and back. But uh, for me, it feels nice to go left and right. Just a little shift. Keeping the right hand down, take the left hand. We are not pushing on the knee, folks. You're pushing on the thigh or applying a little bit of pressure. So it's almost like you're gonna push left knee out, left leg out, sickling the foot, squeeze that right cheek, and push that left shoulder. Let it rotate away from the left thigh. Stabilizing through right shoulder. It should feel nice. And then come out of that, place the hands down. Oh, get that left leg back, and we're gonna bring right leg forward. So now switching to the other side. Whew. And inhaling as we're up nice and tall, and exhale as you shift the body forward. Inhale, back out. Exhale, forward. And you can walk your right foot forward. I just want your right knee tracking the right toes. Um, I don't want it coming to the midline of the body or over the big toe. I want it over toes two through five. And it is okay, right now my right leg is at 90. It is okay if we have, if your right foot is back and your right knee is going forward over the toes because we are not weight bearing. So again, back out, maybe you squeeze that left glute. More of an opening in that left front thigh. And again, think about your pelvis, the very center of you, going down to your mat, down to the earth. I don't care what your abdominals are doing right now. And you're gonna place both hands on the inside of that right foot. And let that right foot walk over to the edge of your mat or space. And let that right knee fall out to the side. So you're coming to the pinky toe side of that right leg. Stabilizing through that left hand, or maybe you have tented fingers, maybe you're on a clock. I don't know. Right hand goes to the right thigh. And just give it a little gentle, oh my. Little extra encouragement. Whew. So right now I'm gonna stretch with my left front hip. I'm also feeling right glute. I'm also feeling right hip flexor in the front that does not want to soften here. So allow, try and have that right shoulder push away from that right thigh and place the hands down. Oh, gently walk that right knee back and we're going to come into a little malasana squat or like a sumo. So come up to standing first. Uh, you decide on your stance. Toes are probably going to be turned out at least at a 45. I want you to hinge forward. Hands coming to the insides of the feet or shins or ankles. Drop those hips. And I want you to stay here. And you can leave your hands together in front of the sternum. You can push elbows into the knees. Ugh or into the thighs, I should say. 
And give me a little shift left and right here. Take a morning ankles. If you have a block or a piece of wood, um, maybe a few books, you could always sit on those for support right here. Doing this for kettlebell against the wall is lovely. Whew. All right, place the hands down. We're gonna come into a dragon. We're gonna go to each side. So if left leg is forward, Right leg comes back, left forearm comes towards the floor. Ugh. Left hand goes down, right arm goes up. Just try to straighten that back leg. Right hand goes down, left hand goes up. Shift your right back, straighten your front leg, toes to the sky, nose towards the knee. Repeat on this side, forearm towards the ground. Left hand down, right hand, rotate up. Straighten right leg, right hand down, left hand up, rotate. Squeeze right kick. Square your hips off, towards the wall. Shift back for our lovely hamstring stretch. And come up standing, switch sides. So whatever's leg is forward. Oh, that forearm comes towards the floor. Right hand, or inside hand down, opposite hand up. Left hand down, right hand up. Hopefully you're on the same side as me. Shift your right back, straight front leg, toes to the sky, nose to the knee. Whew. Repeat, right forearm to the ground. Or for myself, in the direction of. Right hand down, left hand up, squeeze left foot. Left hand down, right hand up, squeeze left foot. Train the foot. Straight front leg, nose to the knee, toes to the sky. Go ahead and step that right foot back. Go into a downward facing dog. <sighs> mm. Open mouth exhales are completely acceptable, especially because I can't hear you. <laughs> as much as I would love to hear you, you know that, folks. <sighs> so walk your dog, maybe. Alternate and reaching one heel to the ground while you bend excessively and the opposite knee. Push your hands into the ground. Reach your sternum. Reach your chest bone towards your feet. Let the head go. Nod the head yes. Shake the head no. Do what feels good. Come into a six-point stance. Two hands, two knees, two feet. Cat cows. Allow it. Belly to fall as you inhale. Reach the crown of the head towards the tail. And then pull the belly button in. Making that Halloween cat nap. Bring your nose towards your navel. Inhale. And just as much as your tailbone is reaching towards the crown of your head, the crown of your head reaches towards your tailbone. And just as much on your Halloween cat as your pubic bone reaches towards the nose, the nose reaches towards the pubic bone. So flexion and extension of the spine. Drop the shoulders. Maybe going through two more cycles of cat cow. Mm. And let's take a child's pose. So allow your knees to go wide, shoelaces down, big toes touch if it's comfortable for you. Bring your seat to your feet and walk your hands out in front of you. Allowing your head to make contact with the earth. And shift your hips gently left and right. See if you can settle in. Maybe you walk your hands out another inch in front of you.
And just imagine how lovely this would feel if you had someone to walk down your spine right now, push on your hips. Oh. Walk your hands over to the right side of your space. Left hand goes on top of right. Push down, getting a nice left side arm, shoulder, armpit, stretch, maybe even into the ribs. Walk your hands back to center. And then over to the left side of your space. Right hand goes on top of left. Push down into the top of that left hand. Getting a stretch through the right armpit, shoulder, right ribs. Reach out the right hip. And walking your hands back to center. And press yourself up to a seated position. So if you have a foam roller, um, we're gonna do like a knee to chest stretch. Excuse me. Um, you could definitely do this on the floor real quick. Before you grab your foam roller, this is what you're gonna look like. We're just gonna go right here and have the foam roller underneath our sacrum area. So up to you, you can start with it. And if you don't like it, move it. So lie on your back and the foam roller is gonna be somewhere that is comfortable. Even just being here in this supported bridge, so good for your organs, folks. Instead of having gravity always pull them down, supported bridges, excellent. For that belly, that gut. Anyways, go ahead and bring left knee in towards the chest, and right leg is just going to go long. I don't, I don't care what you do with your right leg right now, but try and let it rest. And just ugh. try and literally use your biceps. Hands will go around the left shin and pull that knee towards the chest. For me, if I my right leg won't even touch the ground right now. I'm trying to coax it to you without bending into my right leg so much. And again, close the eyes. As long as you can hear me okay, you don't have to see me. Now allow that knee to start to come, that left knee. Allow it to fall to the left side, allowing it to go towards the direction of the shoulder. And extend, actively reach through right leg now. So dorsiflex the foot or bring the toes in the direction of the nose and reach through that right leg still. Hug left knee towards the chest or shoulder. So even though right leg is long and extended and engaged, I want it to coax, I want to coax that heel towards the ground. So if you even put your right hand on that right thigh and just coax it down or away from you, feeling even more of a stretch right across, uh, right below that ASIS or that hip bone. And now literally let the left leg, I want you to allow it to fall out to the side. Myself, I don't have enough room to extend my left leg because I'm going to hit the wall but at least allow that left knee to fall towards the ground, right hand, right thigh. If you have room and can extend your left leg, do so. Then maybe the hand goes onto the hamstring, either from the inside the thigh or from the outside, up to you. And then help bring your left leg back to the midline. Oh, bend into that right knee, bring it up towards the chest. Little rock side to side on your foam roller or the ground, a little massage to that sacrum area. And then right knee is going to hug in towards the chest. Left leg is going to go long. Not engaged here, folks, just lengthening. You can interlace your hands on that right shin. And use your biceps. 
Not your traps, not your neck. Hugging that right knee in towards the chest. Again, close the eyes if you can. What can you let soften? Maybe it's the belly. Maybe it's the jaw. Maybe it's just the eyes, tension in the face. And uh, now I want you to allow that right hip to open just a bit. And that right knee is going to come towards the right shoulder. Extend left leg long, actively reaching through that left heel. So left quad is engaged. Foot is off the floor if you can. Or imagine if you're on the floor, imagine squishing a walnut with the back of that knee. Dorsiflex the left foot, toes to the sky. Left hand goes on that left thigh and coax it. Tell it it's okay <laughs> to lengthen away from the body towards the ground. You can even feel this by pulling, uh, sliding your hand on the skin or your clothes of the abdominals. Left abdominals, try and pull those up and away from your ASIS or that front hip bone. Keep reaching through that left heel. Right hand hugs right knee. And then maybe you release left leg a little bit, a little bit of tension. And allow now that right knee oh, to try and fall towards the ground. And if you can and have room, maybe you go to extending that right leg. Hand can grab on to that hamstring, right hand, right hamstring. Or maybe you just support the leg. Left side opening, front hip. And then bring right knee towards the chest. Left knee towards the chest, and again, one more little rock side to side, massaging the fascia of that right around the hamstring. If you're on the floor, just massaging the kidneys and the low back into the ground. So let's come onto the floor if you're oh, not already. Oh. If you gotta go, folks, you gotta go. That's fine. Otherwise, I have one more stretch for us. We're gonna do a figure four stretch. So crossing your left ankle over right thigh. Interlace. You could stay here if you want, if this is enough. You want a little more? Interlace your hands behind that right hand straight. Left elbow is going to push. Left thigh away from you. So I use right arm more to hug right knee in the direction of the head. Left elbow pushes left thigh or left knee Ooh, away from body. If you didn't want to interlace your hands behind the right leg, right foot could stay on the floor. Left hand could just push into left thigh. And no pain, hopefully, in the left leg. Dorsiflex the foot if you are feeling anything or back off. And release the hands. Place them out to the side like a T or maybe down by your side if you don't have a whole lot of room. And let that figure four shift over to the right side of the body. So it's gonna fall over until your left foot is flat on the floor. Right leg is resting on the floor. Leg still in a figure four. And if left hand can reach out to the side or down by your side, right hand, give that left leg a little push away from the body. Maybe you even look left. Or let the head fall to the left side of the body, keeping the eyes closed. The right hand can push that left quad, especially towards the hip, pushing on that high quad away from you. 
So trying to extend that right arm. Hopefully feeling a left, ooh, outer hip stretch. Inhale your figure four or use your hands if you need to help. Get your legs back to the center. And extend left leg long, extend right leg long. And just notice hopefully the ease that the left foot just falls to the floor with. Bend both knees, feet flat on the floor, cross right ankle over left thigh. Stay here, you want a little more. Interlace your hands behind that left hamstring. Ugh. And, uh, oh my. Noticing the difference on both sides. But use the arms, use the biceps to hug left knee in the direction of the head. Right elbow pushes into right thigh. So my right elbow is still below my knee. Dorsiflex or flex uh, the right foot. Toes in the direction of the shin to protect that right knee. So left arm is doing most of the hugging. And right elbow pushing right thigh away from you. And again, find something that you can soften here. That's why I encourage you to close your eyes when doing these type of stretches. And release the hands, keep the figure four. That lower body is gonna shift over or let the right foot come to the floor on the left side body. Let the arms go out to the side or a T. Left hand can push into that right thigh, that right quad. And on your next inhale, bring that figure four back up to the midline of the body. Uncross your right leg. Let the right leg go long. Let your left leg go long. Close the eyes. Let the belly rise and fall with ease. Audible exhales are encouraged. Remember, no one can hear you. No judgment. And bring a smile to your face, folks. Be proud of what you've done, what you've accomplished. And you've done more than just showing up today. So, folks, that's what I have for you today. Thank you for Thank playing. You.